Okay, so um, so this instrument here um, is it looks a little bit like a guitar, and it's because it's what we had in this country before we had guitars. And the guitar originally is a Spanish instrument. We don't really start playing the guitar as we know it today in England until about 200 years ago. But we had other instruments that kind of did the same job. And this instrument is called a cittern. That's spelled C-I-T-T-E-R-N. Um, several differences with the guitar, the most obvious being it's smaller. Um, it also has a different body shape. But the really big difference with the guitar is that whereas the guitar has six strings, this instrument has nine strings. However, quite a few of the strings are to the same note. So if I play my first two strings, you can hear that even in this hot sunshine, they produce the same note. This helps to make the instrument louder. Having twice the amount of strings gives you twice the volume, which means that I have a phenomenally loud instrument for its size. We start to get these in around about the year 1450. Um, that by about 1600, they had become really, really popular. And by about 1750 or so, they started to die out in favor of the mandolin, the guitar, and other instruments that we have today. But certainly by the Tudor period, these instruments were so popular that if you went into a barber shop to get your hair cut, you wouldn't find sort of magazines lying around for you to read while you were waiting for your hair cut. You would probably find three or four sitters hanging on the wall of the barber shop for you to get down and play while you waited for your hair cut. Which is really civilised and I have no idea why we stopped doing that. Although, I suspect it may have had something to do with barbers getting fed up with customers playing smoke on the water. <laughs> So, um, the citizen was often used to accompany. So the citizen, uh, sorry, the citizen was often used to accompany songs, and that's what we're going to do with it now. We're going to sing a medieval drinking song, um, and we would love it if you would join in. Would you like to join in with a medieval drinking song? Yeah. <laughs> we haven't drink yet, but yeah. Shall we? Should we try that again? Would you like to join in with a medieval drinking song? Yeah. <laughs> At the end of every verse of this song, I sing, Thou hast well drunk a man, and you all sing, Who's Oof. the fool now? Let's try that together, it goes. Thou hast well drunk a man, Who's, Who's the, the fool now? Very good. Now I say this is a drinking song, but it's really a post-drinking song. It's about all the strange things that you see when you've had a little too much to drink. And it goes like this. Martin said to his man, bye, bye. Martin said to his man, who's the fool now? Martin said to his man, take a cup and I the can. Thou as well, drunken man, who's the fool now? Very good. For those of you that haven't quite mastered this yet, don't worry. There are another 38 verses that have played all time. <laughs> I saw the man in the moon fly. Who's the fool now? Hmm? Who's the fool now? No one said that you were the fool. <laughs> I saw a mouse chase a cat, fine, fine. Saw a mouse chase a cat, who's the fool now? Saw a mouse chase a cat, saw the cheese eat the rat. Thou hast well drunk a man, who's the fool now? One more time! Martin said to his man, fine, fine. Martin said to his man, Really complicated, really complicated. 